All right, what is up everybody? I'm finally back with another video after like three months or so. Um, yeah, so today we're gonna be fishing live shrimp. I have right here, if you guys can see that, about two dozen live shrimp. I'm gonna be targeting redfish, snook, maybe tarpon, black drum, and definitely sheep's head today. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, I see a redfish right here. He stopped under these trees. There he goes. Solid cast. He went straight under these trees right here. He's pretty deep in there. I don't think he saw it. It's unfortunate. All right, so I think these are two reds here. Maybe it's, no, it's just one nice, nice red right here. This is probably what was blowing up on this mullet back here. Really nice red, maybe 30 inches, maybe 28. I could get a good cast in him. He's gonna eat, I bet. No, he took off. Wow, really nice red on the bank there. Just poor cast on my part. <sighs> All right. Nice sheep's head right there. Oh, he went right to it. Is he gonna eat it? That's the real question. He's following it, he's following it right up to the boat. Look at him, look at, oh my God. That sheep's head just followed the shrimp like full speed, like as like a redfish chasing a fly on the surface. That was pretty cool. Unfortunately, didn't catch him. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Maybe 40 pounder, so just rolled right there. All right, so now I'm doing a little bit more focus on tarpon right now, because I did not see really any. Oh my God, real big tarpon just swirled on him right at the boat. All right, so I was not winning the tarpon over with uh, live shrimp, so I'm going ahead and switching over to a Z-Man. Um, if you're wondering, the color is Houdini. It's like a brownish with some red speckles. And I think this will do the trick, honestly. I mean, there's so many tarpon, they really should not have ignored the live shrimp, but they just weren't having it. So gonna have to switch up, try something different. All right, first cast, <laughs> second cast actually. That's it. All right, so I was right. They weren't liking live shrimp, switched up the bait and we got an eat. So let's try that again. Ugh. Ugh. There we go, knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Going into the trees here. knew it broke me that's unfortunate big snook right here oh my god he crushed it no way oh my god he's gonna get into the trees try to keep his head out crush that <laughs> thought I hit him in the head apparently I just he ate it like right as it hit the water it's like maybe a slot fish that was super dope like the second it hit the water it was in his mouth it's a nice snook all right finally making something happen fish look a lot bigger as it was <laughs> sliding down the tree line there. He's like 27 probably. Open up the bale. There we go. Jesus. Look how he crushed that. Literally engulfed the entire thing. That's like, he's about 26, 27, not quite slot. I don't know how I thought he was so big. He was like flared up under the tree there. This fins out. I thought he was like well, easily over 30, but killed that. Absolutely killed that. That was pretty sick. It's a nice fish, fat. Very fat for their size. It's an East Coast snook right there. 
lay him back in. He's probably gonna take off really quickly. Yep, ready to go already. That was super cool. There he goes. Finally, after about two or three hours of fishing, get a fish to stick on. Whew, that was sweet. One's on it. Oh, big one. Big, big boy. Look at him, look at him. Coming up to the boat. Oh, no. I think the line spooked him. I'll hit them again in a little bit. Little guy just crushed him. Came off right there. All right, he was small anyway, but no worries. No worries, that was like a 20 inch snook. There's a nice one under him. He, oh my God, he's on it. He's right there. I don't know if he saw me or what. I see a big snook right here under this dock. Several actually, there's at least two or three. Oh my God, big boy just crushed it. He crushed it in the, he just crushed it and knocked it off the hook. Oh my God, he's still sitting there. All right, what is up guys? I'm gonna be doing a slight boat slash gear review basically listing everything that i use because probably the most common question i get is like what kind of boat am i on uh what kind of line leader uh rod reel those sorts of things uh that's i get those questions like at least like once a day something like that through either instagram which is fine but i'm just gonna make uh try to do this in about five minutes try to list everything that i use and yeah let's do this all right so starting from the front or the boat just in general i use or i have a 15 4 ginu high sider um yeah 15 15 foot four inches that's what that means um it's really nice it does everything you need it to do as far as inshore fishing goes as long as the water's calm it's just a great boat all around um it's powered by a 99 yamaha four stroke it's a this is a 2008 in case you're wondering but on the Yamaha, I have a custom tiller extension, which is bun bungee cord wrapped. I think it's called. I think that's how you, what it, what this material is. It's like a it's like a string that's wrapped like that, so it gives like a nice handle. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna go. That was the motor. I'm gonna go straight to the front of the boat now and go all the way towards the back. Um, I have a 55 Minn Kota trolling motor. Uh, it pulls the boat really nicely and any any wind no matter how strong it is it'll just take off like full speed it'll probably go like five or six miles an hour pulling the boat because the boat's just so light um then up in the front there's like a small area right here which is where i keep the 12 volt battery it sits on two c deck pads right there to keep from like wearing down the fiber the fiberglass and it keeps from rattling the boat while you're like driving on plane and stuff like that um then real quickly i use rci optics these are rci uh spanish yeah spanish house that's the model they're really nice i highly recommend them you guys can see through that real quick probably can't oh maybe they're very good glasses for sight fishing very very good um and then the front seat which is where i normally stand control the trolling motor there's a custom c deck pad i got made right here from uh somebody at castaway customs made it for me um so that's the front section middle section of the boat is where i keep my five gallon bucket that also sits on two c deck pads right there that keep it from like wearing out and stuff like that um dry box right there keep my phone gopro stuff in there and then right here i have a ruler c deck also it's all the same color all on the boat from the cooler to the 
everything matches so it's it's pretty nice um this ruler goes up to 33 i don't know if you guys can see it on that side i use it a lot when i'm just showing like the exact size of a fish in a video because a lot of times if i watch other youtubers they, they'll just pick up a fish like throw out a random number out there and call it that and let the fish go i like to normally uh throw it on the scale just or the ruler just so people can actually really see how big a fish is um so yeah then middle section is there's a small hatch in here i don't really use it for anything it's pretty small um side of the boat there is this is a 17 foot uh moonlighter push pole it's not carbon fiber i don't know the word for it fiberglass maybe carbon uh, carbon i don't know what it is it's not uh carbon fiber though whatever the other material they make push poles out of that's what it's made out of um and then on the other side real quickly i'll show off this is a eight foot stake it goes right here real quick it goes in this mount right here which is all connected to the uh trolling motor bracket it's all one piece trolling motor connects to that all right going back real quick yeti c deck pad on the top this is a yeti 35 it's held down by um yeti i don't know what uh straps i guess i don't know what what, the, what they're actually called uh ginu sticker on the front the back i got my sticker justin menendez inshore fishing with another ginu sticker tarpon then back section of the boat is just basically nothing really that cool three three gallon live well or not live well uh gas tank and then two life jackets and really that's about it and then over to rod and reel rod this is what i basically use for everything every inshore species i use this um this is a seven foot star rod ca ciegus i think is how you pronounce it um and then pen conflict 3000 with 20 pound braid spider wire or spider wire and visibraid um then most of the time i'll have 30 pound fluorocarbon leader for basically everything except for maybe if i'm fishing bigger tarpon i'll put on 40 but most of the time I, I keep it light i don't have any really heavy tackle for the things that i fish for at least and i mean i know some people do fishing i'm gonna eventually upgrade to a bigger snook setup because fishing bigger snook it's this is not the best thing to use it's it's really not good at all so i'm going to be looking forward to that probably going to do that this summer is really focus on a better snook setup and then yeah that's basically it if you want to know things that i keep in my backpack as far as like gear and tackle go i really don't use anything other than z-man paddle tails um i have circle hooks uh weighted worm hooks jig heads and leader that's all that's in here about five things i don't really pack too heavy i i'm, ma I'm mainly fishing live mullet and throwing z-mans that's about it so that's it guys uh thank you guys for watching this if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and, le and subscribe if you'd like the content i've got a lot of other good videos that you guys need to check out and i will see you guys next time